This is the TV news for Tuesday, November 16th. And we begin with an unexpected story just filed from Hong Kong by John Leland. Hi, it's John Leland here in Hong Kong with a very special new media, new marketing report for the TV news.tv. I'm at a Web 3.0 conference at Hong Kong Cyberport. And I didn't think I was going to have any news for the TV news.tv, but in fact, what I discovered at the lunch today is that there is an internet TV video streaming service in mainland China now called Xin Lei. It means, uh, and it's spelled X U N L E I. Uh, and it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, video streaming software. You download a Windows executable. But what's even more impressive is there's a hardware box for Internet TV with an HD, H HDMI output. Uh, and there are tens of millions of Chinese watching this. So we talk a lot on the TV news.tv about uh, Internet TV and more and more people are watching TV in the living room. In mainland China, it's huge. Uh, and I think it's more evidence, as we've been talking about, that internet TV, watching TV in the living room, is not just coming with Google TV, it's not just coming with Apple TV, it's coming with all kinds of boxes, and it is coming fast. The wave that we've been talking about, which is huge, the evidence here in Asia is it's even bigger than I thought it was. So that's the quick report from Hong Kong. We'll talk to you soon. And we thank you, John, for a great report. A couple of things that John did not, or perhaps did not feel comfortable mentioning on camera from the PRC. Xin Lei traffics about 30% of all of the TV internet traffic on mainland China, but it appears that it utilizes a good deal of pirated programs from the US. So once again, we thank John Leland, who by default now heads up the TV News I team. And in other news, even against an audience juggernaut like Sunday Night Football, TLC's Sarah Palin's Alaska came out of the gate huge. The premiere of the eight-week doc series pulled nearly five million viewers, and that is an all-time record for a TLC premiere. Two important research studies have just come to light, and both have to do with cable cord cutting. And so we call this dueling cord cutting studies. One study was by Nielsen, commissioned by CTAM. The other study was done by Harris Interactive. The Nielsen study indicated that only 3% of cable customers plan to cut the cord. The Harris study indicated 22% of cable customers have already cut back or completely cut their cable TV service. The Nielsen CTAM study indicated that 84% of those 18 to 49 who now watch internet TV still watch the same amount of cable TV. The Harris study echoed the very same 22% cable cut back or completely cut rate that was reported by the same study by Harris back in February. The Nielsen CTAM study indicated that 93% of internet TV watchers still subscribe to cable TV. The Harris study cut down slash cord cut rate is nearly identical to the same study by Harris of 2009. So which dueling cord cutting study do you believe? It's your choice because here at the TV News, we report. You decide. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get dude at dudewalker.com. Get set for your chance to see what we think are the 10 biggest turkeys in TV history. Simply log on to the tvnews.tv from November 24th through the 28th. And of course, it promises to be underwhelming. Want your message to resonate with top TV and new media execs? And in video? Okay. Then you want to be a sponsor of the TV News. To get the ball rolling, shoot us an email at advertise at the tvnews.tv. 
And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. Tomorrow, another fresh edition with our regular Wednesday feature, The Programming Pulse with Susan Hibben. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.